It was 10 years ago tomorrow that fighting started in Afghanistan. British, American and Allied forces began bombing targets on the ground before the land campaign got underway by backing anti-Taliban warlords. Ten years on, the British Army is unrecognisable as almost every piece of equipment has been replaced or upgraded to cope with the conflict. Will Inglis reports. Ten years ago, this is how the average British soldier was kitted out. But now, almost everything has changed. Back in 2001, the body armour had two plates this size to protect against high-velocity rounds. These days, things have moved on. You've still got these on the side, but the main protection on the front and rear comes from a plate this size, that much larger and that much more likely to save your life. Every single item of frontline kit has been rethought, with upgrades developed at the Infantry Trials and Development Unit in Warminster. The replacements are either lighter better or both. One of the most dramatic changes is the upgrade from the unreliable SA-80A1 to the all-round more capable A2. It's dramatically changed in appearance. Uh, working from the front, uh, we've got on the, the bottom, bottom of the weapon system the, the LLM, which is the laser light module, uh, which is part of the new uh, fist suite kit. We've got the, the lightweight day sight, which is also referred to as the LCAM. Uh, apart from that, the, the only sort of other difference uh, is the, the magazine itself, uh, which is now polycarbonate, which pretty much saves half the weight uh, on the soldiers and what they're, what they're carrying, uh, especially out on the ground when they're you know, carrying about eight magazines worth of ammunition, uh, plus bandoliers as well. The changes go beyond just equipment, though. Basic tactics are constantly changing to adapt to the IED threat. Since my first tour in 2001, uh, where our, our training was was not far off what we would do in Northern Ireland, uh, whereas uh, 10 years on, our training now is absolutely fantastic um, and is, is completely focused on uh, the threat uh, and also um, how to secure the population, which is, which is equally as important. The changes are all the more remarkable because back in 2001, the kit was already regarded as pretty good. The kit fitted well, it was uh, fairly light, obviously uh, the kit sometimes uh, was heavy, especially when we had the ammo inside there, but uh, yeah, it wasn't bad, it does the job. Tactics have totally changed uh, for, for the equipment we've got and it, it enhances what we do instead of uh, our kit dictating what we can do tactically. Um, so yeah, it's a, a massive leap forward. Personal kit is just one area where there have been changes. One of the only armoured vehicles currently used in Afghanistan that was around in 2001 is the trusty Warrior. The rest have been replaced with off-the-shelf purchases better equipped to survive IED blasts. But as with personal equipment, these urgent operational requirements face an uncertain future at the end of hostilities in Afghanistan. It would take massive amounts of money to make many of them permanent additions. Will Inglis, Forces News, Warminster.